am in Schalne, Blue, Parchart, and Horst, the Scarf, the Gelge, and the Firste, and the Dinia will a Glanner Ride a Factus or some Act in the Gelge. I'm here to show solidarity with the Irish language community, with Cunna and the Gale, and with all of those people who are campaigning for Act in the Gelge. Let's be very, very clear. There won't be any assembly without an Act in the Gilgal. The DUP know that, the two governments know that. This right which has been denied people here is available everywhere else on these islands. The DUP could be better embracing this and I understand that there are elements within unionism who are you know, concerned, who feel that this is in some way threatening. is isn't at all. It's, it's, it's a matter of whether we want this uh, part of the island to embrace everyone. You don't have to agree with everyone, but you have to have a legislative basis for everyone's rights, and that includes Irish speakers. So we're here to show solidarity with the Irish language community. So is it a deal breaker? I mean, would you be prepared to go back into the executive if there was a commitment that at some stage in the coming months there was an Irish language act? Well, there was a commitment ten years ago, and I know that the DUP say, well, you know, we weren't part of that, but. I, I go back to this point. Do we want a society here which is new, which reflects everyone's rights, which is not threatening to any section of people here, or do we want to hark back and hanker back to the old uh, ways? The old ways are gone, so we need to have a society which is rights based. And remember, Brexit's coming down the tracks, that is all. There are other hugely important issues out there which need to be tackled in people's daily uh, lives but you know all the parties know and the two governments know that uh, an act in the Gaelga is essential as part of an indication that unionism has moved to a new place. What do you say to unionists to say you're not serious about devolution you're quite happy for things just to tickle? Well, well I listened on my holidays to some of the nonsense which is coming from uh, some of the uh, main spokespersons for the, the, the DUP. Sinn Féin's entire strategy is bested in uh, the Good Friday Agreement institutions. So let there be no doubt about that. Martin uh, McGuinness's record and the record of our other ministers and our MLS is proof positive of all of that. So we want to be back, we have a mandate to be back, we will serve everyone properly, but it has to be on a basis which is sustainable and which is durable. What was your reaction to the, it seems to be daily uh, comments from uh, DUP MPs basically calling for a return to direct well, I think that's nonsense. You know, the, the Irish government have a responsibility under the St Andrews Agreement to ensure that that doesn't reoccur. Uh, the, the, the best option, the number one option, the plan A and B, is a return to the institutions. If for some reason that can't happen, then we have to have a new configuration of the government in the absence of a willingness from uh, unionism to embrace the type of dispensation which is required. Thank you.